if we take a look at the marketplace, you'll see that we have a dedicated ready to go automation bundle available. On this page, you can view each automation and a brief description of what it does. Double clicking on a listing will take you to the automation page where you can view media, reviews, questions, and gain access to documentation and support. For our COE members, you can download the automation and modify it for your own organization if needed. However, if you've upgraded to the 21.10 version of the Assistant, you'll see you have access to all these automations through the Marketplace widget. Here you can view all the same information displayed on the listing page and install automations directly to your personal workspace. Let's take a look at the Take a Screenshot automation. This particular automation allows you to take a screenshot copy it to your clipboard, and optionally save it to your local folder or email the screenshot to a colleague. When you run the automation, a form will appear providing an overview of the automation and a link to the Marketplace page. The selections you make on the form will be saved and pre-populated on the next run. Once you're ready, click Submit. Next, the automation will guide you through the process, providing directions via a status window in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. I'll go ahead and press Control-Q to enter snippet mode, select the area of my desktop that I'd like to take a screenshot of, and the automation will provide me status messages of what it's going to do. If I go into my local desktop, I'll see that that screenshot has been saved and in Outlook, the screenshot has been sent to me as well. Once I'm done, I can press Control-Q to repeat the automation and take another screenshot, or press Escape to end the automation. Finally, a form will appear, confirming that the automation has successfully executed and finished. As you can see, we focused on crafting an enjoyable and pleasant experience for attended users. We've done so by building all of our ready-to-go automations in our new attended framework, which is available right now through our Insider program. Let's take a look at one more ready-to-go automation. If you're like me, you spend a good amount of time coordinating with customers or external parties to find a suitable meeting time. The Share Meeting Availability automation allows you to find potential meeting times among internal attendees and put blocks on everyone's calendar until a suitable time is found. When you first start the automation, you'll find the Manage Meetings module where you can manage any meeting requests that you've currently scheduled through the automation. Since we don't have any meetings, let's jump to the Schedule Meetings tab. Here, you can begin scheduling a meeting request. All you need to do is provide all the attendee email addresses, arrange to search for potential meeting times, and then the length of the meeting. For the attendee emails, you can actually grab them directly from an open Outlook meeting. Once you're ready, click Get Available Times. Now the automation will populate all potential meeting times that work for your internal attendees, namely myself and Peter. Here you can see there's a potential meeting time between 2 to 2.30 p.m. and 2.30 to 3 p.m. today. I'm going to go ahead and select those because I want to create calendar blocks for both of them. Click Confirm Meeting Times. And on the next screen, you'll see who will be included on the calendar blocks. Peter, myself, and an external attendee named attended2021 at gmail.com. Go ahead and populate the calendar block information. The automation will confirm which calendar blocks will be sent. And then if you'd like to exclude external attendees from these calendar blocks, you can do so by checking this box here. Once you're ready, click Schedule Meeting. Once the automation has scheduled those calendar blocks, the automation will redisplay the Manage Meetings module. From here, you can manage all those calendar blocks that you had just created. 
As you can see, we can schedule any one of these calendar blocks. We can keep or delete them, and we can do so by selecting the appropriate option and clicking Make Changes. This automation will automatically check for meeting responses each time you run the automation, or you can have it check in the background by clicking Check for Updates, setting a wait time in between each check, and then closing the automation. Here, let's go ahead and schedule the 2.30 to 3 p.m. calendar block and make the changes. Once the automation is finished, this form will redisplay once again. I can close it. And if you take a look in my Outlook, I will no longer have both of those calendar blocks, but I will have the one meeting I wanted to set up initially. If you're like me, this automation should save you a substantial amount of time communicating with external parties and reducing the amount of back and forth via email.